Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla, and today on Ride Tested, we're checking out the Schubert C5. Let's go. Hello, hello, out here in the New Hope area, zipping around. A little cloudy today, but not too shabby. Got a lot of road to myself, which has been a lot of fun, and I am obviously zipping around in the C5 right now. First impressions right out of the gate, I was like, wow, it's pretty comfortable, much more comfortable than what I've experienced in the past with Schubert. Relatively lightweight for a modular helmet, considering you do have an internal sun visor as well. And yeah, it is very quiet. So Schubert is known for that, and no surprises here. I think they did an excellent job, and obviously I'm gonna get into a little bit more detail there, but coming from the C4 using that, you know, that was a bit of a dud. I don't think a lot of people really enjoyed using that particular helmet, and especially considering the C3, it performed so well. And I feel like the C5 kind of went back to their roots of the C3 and such an excellent lid. So I'm glad that they've done that. I'm glad that the C5 is back to what I feel like what we know and love from Schuberth with their German engineering, that high quality that they bring to the table. So. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this particular lid. Let's talk about the noise levels, right? I think it's more quiet than the Neotech and the AGV Sport Modular from my personal experience. I really love that AGV Sport Modular, no doubt about it. But when it comes to the quiet levels, yeah, I think Schubert is taking the win there. I don't know. It might. It's going to be real close, I think, between the Neotech and this one, though, when it comes to the overall noise levels. But I, I think... From my experience, the C5 just has a slight edge on it. With earplugs though, you gotta be wearing earplugs if you're zipping around or riding around you know, at highway speeds at any point in time. It makes a huge, huge difference. Any difference in noise levels will really just become negligible with a cheap set of earplugs. The ventilation, I think it works really well. All the vents are very easy to open and close with my gloves on, nothing takes like any brunt force and I mean immediately when I open this top vent up I can immediately feel the airflow and I can immediately feel the difference and a lot of times with a lot of different helmets you really can't you might feel just a subtle bit of airflow but as soon as I open this bad boy up I can feel it on the top of my head and circulating down the back of the helmet and I think in really hot climates obviously that's going to be crucial and super beneficial to a lot of riders so the airflow absolutely a plus uh, when it comes to that. Now the weight itself, the AGV Sport Modular, I did a ride test on that particular helmet. And uh, you know, that is certainly lighter than this helmet. And the weight doesn't bother me. I've got a GoPro on here. Obviously I've been riding around without a GoPro on. And yeah, the weight doesn't bother me one bit, especially considering, again, it is a modular helmet. They only provided us with two shell sizes, which I think is a bit of a knock, especially from Schubert. I mean, they're a top tier brand. I would expect more shell sizes, certainly not less. Two is, is no bueno because that increases the overall size of the actual shell itself. So if you think about it, an extra small is sharing the same shell as this medium and even a large maybe. I, I forget where the breakdown is, but it shouldn't be that way. We should get more shell sizes within the line, especially with their, their caliber in my personal opinion they're very much a premium brand so give us more shell sizes next time i think that'll help maybe even help reduce some of that weight and get it closer to that agv sport modular which i absolutely love and it's certified as a half helmet so you can just open this bad boy up and yeah ride around and it's going to be secured and i didn't lock it in place but I'm only doing about 50 miles an hour right now and working fine. Obviously, I always wish the internal sun visor would go lower, um, but the coverage is fine. It's adequate. I can see that I've still got a bit of space here on the side of the shell, right? So I feel like I could get a bit more uh, out of the internal sun visor, just making it a little bit lower, but eh. But yeah, so far super impressed. Works really well, ventilation, it's lightweight. It's very comfortable. Speaking of comfort, the interior liner, uh, they give you some extra pieces there so you can uh, kind of make it fit to your liking and 
change it up a bit if you need to do so, which is certainly always nice. We all come in different shapes and sizes, and all that stuff's going to come into play with your overall comfort and how your helmet is actually fitting you. So it's nice that they've got that incorporated as well. But yeah, I just grab that red tab right there on the gym bar, pull it down. I'm going to struggle with my mic here, and then there we go. Which brings up another good point. Schubert does have their SC2 from Cena. Uh, that is the, the unit that is designed to be fully incorporated into this helmet. I'm personally not utilizing that. I get the advantage of them being more integrated into the helmet, right? Totally understand that. Makes things a bit more low profile. You can put the battery pack towards the back of the helmet. There's a little slot there. But I test too many different helmets. I, I, I ride too many discipline, too many different disciplines, I should say. So I like being able to transfer my Bluetooth unit from, from one helmet to another. And I like some of the other features that are provided by some of the more of the top tier options within various manufacturers lines. So here's the rub. I'm not a fan of modular helmets. I don't fully get it. Like I don't understand why anyone wants a helmet that's generally heavier than a full face helmet and generally louder than a full face helmet but technically this chin bar creates a weak point in the overall shell design too so you're compromising a, a bit of safety so i don't fully understand why these exist but there is no doubting that when you're on the go it does make it a little bit easier to eat on the go i mean there's no doubt about it so today, yeah, I mean, I did a little pit stop. Get this out of the way real quick. And, you, know, you can eat your McDonald's cheeseburger while you're zipping around on the bike. Oh yeah, it's delicious. Get some protection from my eyeballs there. But this is really, this is it. I think this is the only benefit you're really getting with a modular helmet, in my opinion. I'm sure people are gonna disagree. Yeah, are a lot of people gonna judge me for eating this hamburger with my gloves on? Yeah, probably so, because my gloves are a bit grimy, but I don't care, it's fine. But I will say tip of the old modular helmet to shoe berth because overall, I think they did an excellent job and this was vastly improved compared to the shoe berth C4, which was yeah, definitely a bit of a dud. At any rate, if you like the C3, you like the Neotech, you like the AGV Sport Modular, or maybe you're thinking about all three of them, you just gotta figure out what's most important to you. If the weight is most important, go with the Sport Modular. If you want something that's the quietest helmet, and it's also a modular, so you can eat your, uh, you know, you can eat your McDonald's on the go, then I think the shoe berth is gonna be uh, the way to go and again the ventilation is excelente excelente but thanks for hanging out if you got any more questions about this lid and comparing it to some other options don't hesitate to reach out i'm always happy to uh to chat with you as always guys and gals keep it thin <laughs> oh no <laughs> i'm losing <laughs> on my apple pie.